Okay, this is part two of the tutorial for uh, focus shift shooting or focus stacking, automatically done in camera on the Nikon Z6. If you've not seen part one of this uh, tutorial, please do. That's got the technical side of it of how to set the camera up, the various settings that you'll need and stuff like that. Very handy. I'll put the com uh, link in the description of the video below. Right then, focus shift shooting. Here we are, Rivington Pike, just about there some kind of fun run on at the moment or <laughs> not so much a fun run but some kind of run going on and uh, we're going to do focus shift shooting so we've got a gate and a fence here we've got a bit of a path got some uh, path cutting the hedge uh, in the path cutting the hill there and then you've got the pike up at the top so with focus shift shooting we'll hopefully get a stack where we can focus on the gate and the fence then the path and the hillside then up at the summit. Okay, that's the plan. Okay, while we wait for the uh, runners and walkers to move out of the way, uh, let's download the set of images and put them in Lightroom. Here we go, we've got four images for this stack, so select them all and edit in, then open as layers in Photoshop. First job, auto blend layers. Select that just in case the camera's moved while we're taking the pictures. It was quite windy up there. And I'll speed this up so it uh, doesn't take all day. Once we've done that, we edit and then auto blend layers. Again, I've speeded this up into a stack and it takes the bits that are in focus and puts them all on top of each other in four layers, applies a layer mask and now we're just going to do a quick crop, get rid of that shadow, try and get everything balanced on the rule of thirds or the golden circle however you wish to measure it and there we go I'll drag this layer down to the bottom and then we'll have a look at each of the layers it's deemed to blend and in which way. If you look at the mask you can see how much it's covered up and overall you get a nice sharp picture. And once you're happy with the adjustments there I'll just take a couple of walkers out. I think there's a couple of birds at the uh, top of the hill somewhere. Once you've done that, let's save it and take it back into Lightroom. And there we go, now I've got five images in the collection. One is the stack and the other four originals. I'll quick look around. Oh, there's those two birds I was talking about. So I'll get rid of those in the develop module. Just give this a quick edit, a bit more contrast. Reduce the exposure slightly. I think we'll put a bit of a grad filter on the sky. Just to keep them blues nice and rich. There we go. Maybe too much, maybe not. This is the personal taste at the end of the day. And then we'll just have a look at the overall picture. Maybe put the shadows up a touch. Drop the highlights. Add some texture, maybe too much on the uh, contrast. There we go. We'll move the shadows about. Quick nudge on the curves. Ever so slight. Better sharpening. Option O. Uh, option. Press Option. Slide the uh, slider over, and the white areas are the bits that will be sharpened. Noise reduction shot at ISO 100, so we shouldn't need that. Remove chromatic aberrations. Okay, there you go, there's the final image. Thanks for watching. If you like it, please press the like button. If you didn't like it, I'd still like it if you press the like button. Uh, leave a comment if you've got any comments or questions, and uh, click the subscribe button for future content. This is part two, so if you've not seen the first one for the actual um, technique of how to do it, then please have a look there. I've put it up in the corner for you.